everybody to another episode of Movie Social, where your host, Stefan and Ricky. Hello! Okay, anyway, <laughs> today's episode, we're going to be doing a, our third installment of Black Excellence for July, which of course, if, for those who have not seen the first two, which you should, click up below, well, above, but, uh, this is going to be Regina King and Denzel Washington. Now, if you like what we're doing, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget to give us a thumbs up on the video. And comment below with your thoughts and opinions on both Denzel and Regina King. And the movie and TV show we're going to do today. So, for Regina King, I'm going to start off with uh, American Crime. For those who have not seen it, it mm -hmm. was a series on ABC, last from 2015 to 2017, three seasons. It was an anthology, anthology series, basically. Each season, uh, there it was a whole new plot, whole new show with the same cast, completely different from the first one. But it also had the same premise of social issues in this country. Of course, season one. And for the most part, season two were race-based issues. Season three was race-based and also uh, nationality-based with Hispanics and Mexicans and all that with the border and this whole Trump bullshit. But uh, Regina King played it very well. She became a character that you loved and also hated at the same time, especially in season two when she was the mother of the black child, the black athlete who was a star athlete but at a preppy rich school and because they were wealthy family was wealthy yep. but so they were loved they were characters that you would love but then you also hate at the same time because of the way they acted because the money made them act a certain way sometimes and then at other times they did show the black the side of being black as themselves but all as a whole, she brought that character into a light that you were like, okay, hmm, maybe I can see this happening for her. Maybe I can't see this happening with somebody. But at the same time, it's really happening in real life. So she kind of played that role to a T. If you ask me, the only thing I would take away that I didn't like with her role in there was it seemed like she played that kind of character for each season okay yeah instead yeah. of playing one season playing it this way the next playing the opposite she played defense in each season in a way and it was rough to me if you ask me for certain parts of this, those uh, shows and the season because of everything that continues to go on in this world but it kind of tried to wait do its way of shining a light on it anyway going to move on to Denzel now now, and this is a big one here for Denzel, that, in my opinion, for Denzel, uh, Inside Man. Okay. Look, first of all, it's a Spike Lee joint. Spike Lee joint. Which, one, when I first seen it, did not know it was a Spike Lee joint. But it, yes, it is a Spike Lee joint. You do so. Listen, this the reason why I say it, did not, because it did not have that same usual take of a Spike Lee joint that Makes you normally sense. get. It looked like a normal, regular movie, but it was a Spike Lee joint. Also, you had a big cast for this movie. You had Denzel, you had Clive Owen playing uh, the main uh, bank robber. You've had, uh, I really cannot say his name, ever, playing as uh, Denzel's uh, number two detective with him. But uh, yeah, he played in uh, Doctor Strange and of a lot of other things. Which what, the main guy from Doctor Strange? Uh, black guy from Doctor Strange. Not the lead character. Not okay. Doctor Strange. Yeah, I okay. can't remember his name. Anymore, but, but, proceed. I, I know he has a uh, foreign name. But, Denzel's character is, starts off as a detective who's basically essentially been benched because of his last case, uh, a whole lot of money was going missing and they're trying to say he stole it. And so they're doing an investigation into him. But, luck would have it, people have just now robbed the bank and are holding people hostage in that bank. 
and all the other detectives for that precinct in that area have all basically gone on vacation or on leave or somewhere else. And so it's down there. This else team. So he gets thrust into it. And it doesn't take long though before things start really getting out of control as far as the mayor trying to have somebody else involved because this person forces the mayor's hand into it. It's wild. I mean, it's not necessarily wild, I would say. It was more of a drama, mm -hmm. which is good. And it really had a very great uh, plot twist to the whole thing. I mean, for those who have seen it, you would agree, yeah, I would hope, <laughs> at the end uh, where, because the robbers technically didn't take any money or anything that was noticed on the map or any of the records, but there was one uh, deposit safe, uh, I think that was uh, 132, that was not listed. It goes from 131 to 133, but 132 was in there. It was the owner of the bank's uh, private safe, and that's what they stole out of there. They stole the documents that shows the owner was making deals during World War II with Nazis, doing their money and all of that stuff, mm. making money off of the death of Jews, including one of his best friends and their, their family being killed, just so he could have his money and keeping the ring, and then also in their diamonds. Millions of dollars worth of diamonds that they took. They left the ring, which eventually Denzel used to connect the dots between them and everybody else. I would have loved a sequel. Yes, they did do a sequel, but it wasn't the same cast, and it was basically, in a way, the same thing, but different cast. I would have loved a sequel where Denzel continued on with it. But as a whole, it brought, yes, Denzel has played the cop in a lot of movies. Even before this, you had Training Day and all. You've had uh, Out of Time, Man on Fire, all of that. But this role, he played a cop who was being framed, one, for a crime. At the same time of doing that, he has to do his job. Backs against the wall with a whole bunch of pressure. You got hostages. That you need to uh, assess everything. But the whole time he's playing it cool. He's relaxed. Never seen him do go anything above an even kill tone. Only time he might have seen him get elevated. Just a little bit. Was when he was trying to stop them from breaching the uh, bank. Because he found out they planted a bug near. To me. It was a masterful movie. The roles were played very well. Including Denzel's role. But, yeah, I mean, that's my take on it. I don't know what you guys thought about Denzel's role in Inside Man. What did you guys think about Regina King's role in uh, American Crime? Let's know what you guys thought. Until next time. Peace.